YouTube, it's your girl Sunshine, and today is Sunday, December the 16th, and I'm going to be coming to you guys, giving you a Sunday motivation. Today, I want to talk to you guys about success in truck leasing and how Jay and I were able to reach our old goals in the year 2018, and what are, and also give you guys some of the things that we uh, some of the goals that we set in place in order to reach our own milestones and goals that we set for ourselves in trucking. So as you guys know, in September of last year, we found out that we were going to be parents. So just to, um, that in itself is what motivated us to reach our goals and set out to become owner operators although i've been we've been owner operators before but it motivated us to set out and get a truck um so that we can because as you guys know we were company drivers we did a dedicated lane from memphis tennessee to henderson colorado back and forth so we once we found out that we were going to be parents jay and i got together and we decided we're going to get our own truck so with that being said i was currently pregnant at the time we decided to keep trucking and save up uh money we were already saving at the time to for a home and other goals but we decided to start a fund just for uh buying a truck so we it took us two months just to be clear it took us two months uh to save the money up for the truck we saved up ten thousand dollars now whether you're a solo driver or a team driver if you are serious about getting a truck you have to make sacrifices so jay and i knew that we were going to have to make some sacrifices and the added pressure of knowing that you're going to become parents for the first time that really pushed us into um saving more and uh saving being able to save fast and what also helped was before we even got started on saving towards the truck we already had laid out our goals i'm sorry we laid out our expenses our household experiences whether it be utility bills food uh personal expenses we did a complete breakdown prior to that for our original savings towards our home and everything that else that we're saving for so we already knew what our expenses were and we cut down i told you guys in a um, prior video that we do not have a truck note we uh are we live in an apartment as you guys can see and we sacrifice you know we live way below our means so that we can get things done because in our minds we have that how bad do you want it mentality and if you want if you have a lot of goals like you want a home or you want a truck or whatever it is that you want you're going to have to make some sacrifices to get it and the sacrifices that we made were very easy for us whether it be cutting a cable bill or cutting in some cases i will admit we were a bit extreme but we cut everything we pretty much cut everything we went and did our dedicated route back and forth and we just put our funds back and in two months we were able to save ten thousand dollars towards our truck team driving as company drivers so once we found once we had our funds saved back we continued to drive and in april of 2018 april 26 of 2018 that's when we decided i was at the time i was seven months pregnant no i'm sorry i was above i stopped driving at seven months pregnant and in april uh at that time i was huge so <laughs> um i think i was eight months pregnant so i stopped driving and we decided on my birthday that we would go to lone mountain truck leasing in fort worth texas and get our truck and pick out our truck before we went and got our truck we said our prayer we said lord we we're making an investment and you know <laughs> this is it you know because it's not easy a lot of us are not you know buying a truck or investing your funds in a, in a truck your hard working money earned money into a truck is not an easy decision 
where we could have taken those funds and put it towards our home. So we're like, we're going to go in this and we're going to give it everything we got. We're going to pray on it. We're going to marinate just everything we're going to push put it out there and we're going to do our best we inspected the vehicle we it took us two hours to inspect the vehicle and we got it inspected at two different freightliner dealerships we just wanted to do everything in our power to make sure that we were making a good investment for ourselves and for our family so um, that wasn't one of the only goals that we set out. We also set out to build our business credit. And as you guys know, so it's $10,000. We ended up paying $4,220 towards the down payment for our 2014 Freightliner. And the remainder amount was either uh, used towards back towards the settlement and... I'm sorry, the maintenance reserve for any unexpected repairs and getting inspections, initial inspections. Since we've had our truck, we have not had any major issues with it. I mean, we did get a starter replaced. We got some kind of uh, hose, like rubber part. I'm not a mechanic, you guys, so I have no clue, but we got um, electronic inspection, inspection done to it to get a cold cleared or out of there and we got a rubber piece replaced but it wasn't too major um based on our old successes in um what we were able to achieve so that's pretty much the truck has been driving we got a 13 speed um the truck has been driving very well everything's been running smoothly but the main our most important thing was not only to get the truck but we wanted to be able to save a maintenance reserve a cash and credit maintenance reserve for our old truck meaning if anything was to happen with that truck we didn't want it to be able to pay for those repairs and allow the truck to pay for itself we didn't want to have to go digging into our home savings funds or emergency savings funds to repair the truck we wanted to allow the business to pay for itself the truck is the business and allow the truck to pay for itself so therefore immediately after getting the truck we set out to save and um save towards put the profits of the business back towards a maintenance our our goal that we set for a fully stocked maintenance account was twenty thousand dollars another goal that we set um for our trucking business was to be able to uh build business credit because at the time everything was a startup getting the truck everything was a startup and as you guys have been watching Jay has been working very hard out there on the road making sure that we build our business credit he's been telling you guys sharing with you guys uh, some of the ways some of the accounts that we have applied for and the key to the business credit side or the most important part is once you get the accounts pay your bills on time so if you want to be successful as a one trucking company or a five truck uh company you have to pay your bills on time and you have to build your maintenance account and while you like when you first get your truck one key thing is when you start bringing in profit for your truck that is not the time to celebrate. That is not the time to start taking trips and start going all over crazy, you know, celebrating yourself. Because the first two years of business, when you're starting a business, are very crucial. It will determine whether you stay in business or whether you don't stay in business. So the only thing that you can do is try your best to plan and build a solid foundation so that you can succeed in trucking and one of the ways that we two of the ways that we decided in order to uh help us build a more solid foundation is we wanted to attack our business credit and start building business credit and whether we started small and slow and steady growth i told you guys that we were aiming for slow and steady growth 
and that's what we've been doing we had we started with small accounts whether it be quill accounts which some of this information on business credit you guys know jay has his youtube channel the truckers knowledge show where he's giving you step by step information on how we built our business credit and it's not he was sharing the information to you guys as we are doing it so it's working for us currently now i will say we've reached both goals and we're still working on new goals um now for now and in the future and that is we've been able to successfully get our truck we've been able to successfully save up our twenty thousand dollar um cash uh maintenance reserve and we also been have been able to build our business credit and successfully we have two um maintenance fuel card accounts that pays for uh maintenance fuel whatever you need for your truck that amount to thirteen thousand dollars on a net 22 so we have videos on that if you guys want that so we can say that for our truck maintenance account it since april 26 of this year when we first got our truck we have been able to save a cash and credit reserve a cash reserve of twenty thousand dollars and a credit reserve of thirteen thousand dollars for maintenance just for maintenance so we have a thirty three thousand dollar um maintenance reserve for our old truck from april 26 of 2018 and now we're in december of of 20 uh of 2018 so you can do it it's um you can do it it's very it's not hard you just have to stay determined and set the goals and actually work towards them every day and keep the goals reminded jay and i have uh been reminding each other daily we call each other all the time and tell each other because he's working out there on the road and i'm working here in the office and you guys know we i would do a dispatch uh a our agency is a dispatch business and this is completely separate i want you guys to know this this is completely separate from our old dispatching business it has nothing to do with our old, uh agency and what we've been able to do as an agency this is strictly trucking and jay out there working hard bringing home revenue and what he's been able to reach uh from the truck paying for itself so the most important key is reminding yourself what helped us the most is oh by the way our truck when we first got it was like 62,000 a little over almost $63,000 we paid made like seven payments on it now so where we should be at like 52,000 um dollars now so our maintenance account reserve maintenance account total is up to half of what the truck is uh what is due on the truck so therefore if anything was to happen god forbid if anything was to happen with our truck we would be able to make a decision if anything serious was to happen to our truck we would be able to make a decision on whether we want to get a new engine or something like that or whether we want it to just go into another truck but so far everything has been a success and the thing that I want to share with you guys, because I see it happening a lot, and I want you to know that the sacrifices is what made it um, happen. You cannot, if you start a trucking business, or this is your first time being an owner-operator, and your first time just, just starting a business, you cannot some of the things that you cannot be doing and i know you guys are gonna start thinking like what the heck you know i see other truckers you may see other truckers doing this and i'm telling you it's not good to do one of the things that jay doesn't do when he's out there on the road focusing on bringing in business profits is he's not at hotels um he's not staying in hotel rooms every time he's uh, just because you know some truckers they buy and rent hotel rooms 
just for the purpose of celebrating and remember in your first year now of investing in trucking is not the time to celebrate so no hotel rooms if you're gonna stay in a hotel room you your home is the hotel room so if you're gonna if you're in a truck and the, screw cancel the hotels put that out there um Food, make sure that you get you a refrigerator. Although we do not have a refrigerator in our truck, Jay uh, has not been, he's been watching his expenses on food. One of our, some of our goals, those are still on our list, is to get our refrigerator installed into our truck and to get a APU unit on the truck and some other things. So those are down the line and we actually can do that now, but we had to make the sacrifices. So to sum it up, um, if you guys want to succeed, you have to cut back on your unnecessary expenses. Hotel rooms, uh, getting a car note when it's only you in the truck and you're hardly home you're hardly ever home if you're especially if you're a solo driver and you're you're really determined to succeed and uh stack your money and your lease you want to make sure that you don't have unnecessary expenses eating up your business profits you don't want your at home expenses to um be above your truck business expenses if your at home expenses are more than your business expenses then you have a problem and you need to cut back but if you're going to succeed um you need to lay everything out on the table and you're ha you're going to have to cut back and make some sacrifices it's really not hard to do the hardest thing is really making the decisions in trucking you never know what's gonna go wrong with your truck one thing in trucking one thing happens to that truck it can put you out of business so you want to do everything that you can to prepare for those unexpected breakdowns or unexpected situations so that when they do happen the more you build and the more you save the more comfort and peace you have nobody likes spending money um nobody likes having a breakdown but that's what business is you know it's a part of being a business owner and a truck owner so the more prepare the more you prepare yourself the less worry and the less headache you will have and stress you will have on yourself when those things do come when we have breakdowns we don't like spending money but we still say thank goodness we have a maintenance reserve where we can go into our maintenance reserve and all we'll have to do from there is worry about negotiating the price for the repair so that we won't spend all of our money so that we can build it back up build our account back up so if you guys have any questions or on what we did or any you have any more questions about how we leased our truck or our own success in truck leasing everything has been great this year we're hoping to do even better and set even bigger goals for ourselves for next year um for our business we've already decided we th oh, i'm sorry we didn't decide but we thought about um whether we wanted to get another truck and start building that account and we kind of we're kind of you know hesitant about that so right now we're just operating our um dispatch business and that's everything on highway divas is doing great currently we have over 25 drivers everything is doing so great you guys i've been able as you guys can see my office is <laughs> live and up and running we're still doing everything out of this small apartment which is cutting back on costs and expenses everything is doing so great and we also want to thank everybody that believed in us all of our owner operators that support us and do business with us um we love you guys we appreciate you guys you guys created when i found out that i was um gonna be a mother i didn't i honestly didn't know what i was going to do in terms of a career all i knew was we wanted to raise money uh, save money for our truck so that we can work for ourselves and here we are um 
seven our child is now seven five months i'm sorry she's five months old and now we're i'm running an at-home business jay's out there working hard and we are able to come to you guys and tell you about our success in leasing and about our company our business highway divas is growing uh i set a goal also for myself when we became an agent and i said i want to shoot for five owner operators and i want to dispatch and uh teach five owner operators how to run their business and here we are four months later and we're at over 25 owner operators so we're definitely blessed we started our mission out with prayer and praise and all throughout the year of 2018 we can't complain we've been praising god for everything that he's blessed us with we have no complaints this has been the best year that i can't even think of a year in life that we've experienced but together that that can compare to this year of launching our business we do have goals we're going to keep you guys posted in our future goals and uh some of the things that we're working on and we hope you guys succeed in reaching your goals and if you have any questions Feel free to join our Facebook group page. It's Highway Divas LLC. Our members are doing great. We're watching you guys. You guys have been reaching your goals, graduating CDL school, uh, working your way up to becoming owner operators, business owners. Um, we're so proud of you guys. And we thank you guys for so much motivation and so much praise. I do read my emails and I read it and I get so many, we get so many emails um throughout the day of people telling us to keep up the good work and i just want to let you guys know that those emails has helped us tremendously we read them sometimes i call jay and i read them to him so you guys are awesome we are just so overwhelmingly blessed this year and we look forward to the future years to come in our business next year will be year two of running our business and we're gonna uh, let you guys experience our growth and our future goals and how what are the things that we're doing to reach them if you want to know more about business credit and how we were able to build our business credit make sure you go search and subscribe to the truckers knowledge show jay is seriously giving you guys step-by-step -step instructions on how we build our business credit and how we're able to uh use our business credit to help us in our trucking business if you guys have any questions, you can reach us. You can um, reach us at www.highwaydivas.com for more information. You can also call us directly Monday through Friday at 501-232-0102. That is 501-232-0102. And you can email us directly at sunshine at highwaydivas.com. That's sunshine at highwaydivas.com. Thank you guys for watching this. I hope you guys are motivated. I hope you guys are inspired. Be blessed out there, everyone. Happy Sunday and peace, love, and deuces.